This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matthews Jim Arbao. I'm in Wolverhampton today. With me I've got Reza Hamza after his first round win, 23 seconds into the first round, may I add. I'm also joined by his team. How you doing, fellas? How are you going? Oh, James. Good, good. How are you, Des? All right, James. Good. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, no problem. Talk to me a little bit about the fight, Reza. How did you find um, it? Well, first of all, I, I want to thank off with starting the, starting off thanking off my trainers and my manager. After my last fight, I drew. I drew against um, Demetrius Gutmans, who now wouldn't fight me again. So we've, we've asked them numerous times to fight me, but these guys stuck by me. This man who's got the most... Com he just he believes in my ability. He, he's, he's never ever saying to me, you're not going to do well. After, after my draw, he, he stood by me and he goes to me, we're going to get this. And this man who's got all the time in the world for me, first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to these guys, because without them, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be this strong and I wouldn't be this good. I mean, you must have been disheartened after your draw. Was there a sort of time where you thought it's now make or break for you coming yeah, into this fight? Yeah, sure. Um, I knew after after the draw, I was heartbroken. You know, I didn't I didn't know what to do. I had no confidence in me. But once again, these guys who got me back in the gym, John and Des, just just kept pushing me, kept pushing me, kept pushing me. I mean, they could have easily said to me, "Nah, we, we don't need you. We've got better fighters who ain't drawing or winning." But they stood by me, and that itself. It's got my confidence high and I just kept working hard. Super, band, super bantamweight division, such a great division. So early on in your career, are you looking at these sort of fighters and thinking, that can be me a couple of years from now, 18 months time? I work, my job is to go and train hard, work hard. This man, he's the one who tells me who I'm fighting next and it's my job to beat them. Whoever this man puts in front of me, I promise you, if they don't get knocked out, they'll get out boxed. You must be pleased with the way, with the way he went about his work today. I am pleased with him. I'm very pleased with him. Um, Razzie showed an awful lot of character. Um, unfortunately, I was last time Razzie fought, so I was in Wembley with Jamie. Jamie with Jamie Cox was fighting for the WBO European. And he can't be in two places at once. I mean, he needed to get Razzie Raz. So we kept him on the show. And when I made the phone call and heard he got the draw, it was a really bitter pill, you know, it, was, it wasn't nice. Um, but Razzie, he's, he's got an awful lot of character. And um, he's got an awful lot of character. And. Um, I think he's shown that. I think he's shown that in abundance. We, we asked for um, Dimitri uh, uh, Grusy, Gutmans. Gutmans. We asked for it. Um, and they're just not forthcoming. They didn't want to say the fight again. So, that, you know, all they can do is beat who's, beat who's put in front of him. What happened yesterday, it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen today. Um, you know, we, we, look, we look forward. We learn, we learn from what, what's, be, what's behind us and we move forward. And, uh, and that's what Raz's doing. I think well, two years from now, Razzle will be a, 18 months, two years from now, domestically, Razzle will be a force. Where does he go from here then? When can we anticipate seeing him out next to the Well, this is his third, this is his third fight. Um, I mean, the Super Bantamweight division, obviously, in, in the United Kingdom, is a tremendously talented division. You know, you've got um, the likes of Scott Quick, um, you know, Scott Quick, obviously, um, Frampton. And then you've got, you know, domestically you've got the likes of Jazzy Dickens and, you know, you've got, you've got some fantastic kids in the waist. But I think outside of that, you know, um, young Louis Petit, not a bad kid. Bobby Jenkinson's Commonwealth champion. I'd lose no sleep about Raz fighting, fighting Bobby Jenkinson right now. But he's had, it's just, you know, it's uh, one thing at a time. Um, let's get another, another three or four fights under his belt and let's, let's see where we are. But yeah, I think that's exactly where Raz is going. All right, well, listen, Raza, it's great to get you on the channel finally. Well done on the win, mate. And I want to apologise because the interview is a little bit dark, but we're quite limited for lighting here, so I um, do apologise for that. But thank you for giving us some time. We, we really do appreciate it. I don't want to forget about Gamal Yaffa. I know that another tremendous kid from Birmingham coming through the Super Bands and White Division. Tremendous yeah, very, talent. Very good, very strong. Tremendous good talent. He'll be there too. Thanks pretty sure. for the sport, man. Sure, the peace thank from you life. very much. Yeah, have a wicked Cheers, James. Thanks, James. Thank you very much, James.